Hi guys, uh, this is Johnny and I want to show you how you can uh, move your daily performance logs because they are taking a lot of, uh, a lot of space. Uh, I have my own exchange here and uh, I'm, I'm suffering from the same as you probably are uh, for searching uh, how to get rid of them. In, uh, I have my database uh, in, another, uh, in another drive so I have some logs already. So the exchange database is here, but um, my daily performance logs are still on C drive where my exchange is. So um, occasionally I'm running out of space. I've, I've given 100 gigabytes on my C drive. So sometimes uh, when, the, when the logs get too much, I'm running out of space. I'm using a tree size uh, free uh, to, to measure where, where the space uh, is lost. So uh, well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We want to get rid of the daily performance logs. I mean, not remove them. We want, we want um, to retain them on production uh, exchange servers. So we're gonna move them to another partition where we have enough space. So yeah, uh, you can see that uh, program files, Microsoft, 23 gigs. Obviously, this is my exchange. But yeah. Uh, 8 gigabytes in logging, uh, I mean that's too much, we want to get rid of this. Uh, diagnostics 5 gigs, daily performance logs 5 gigs and you can see every daily performance log is 800 megabytes, we can't let this happen. Um, it's, keeping, it's keeping around a week or something but uh, it, it's getting too much so we want to stop it. How do we do it? Um, we're gonna use perfmon. This is the performance monitor, which is built into the Windows Server pl platform. By the way, this works for all your exchanges. Uh, of course, not 2003, but any later exchange. So data collector sets, uh, user defined, which is strange. Yeah, they're user defined. So yeah, these are our exchange diagnostic daily performance and they're running. So if you want to change uh, their path, go to directory and let's change it from here uh, I have created exchange uh, uh, oh, diagnosing locks yeah I'll use this one daily performance locks and I'll point them right here It will say that uh, this um, this change will take effect when this runs next time, so that's okay. Okay, let's do the same. Let's do the same to the other work as well. Okay, these are to be processed, so let's move those as well. Go to your alternate location, whatever you choose to be processed. Okay, let's choose this one. Okay, it will probably say again that uh, it's gonna take, yeah, take effect after they run the next time. So, okay. So let's try and uh, stop them. Actually, if you want to stop them, by the way, not move them, you can do it from here. They shouldn't be uh, running. So let's start again. There we go. There we go. The, the output is now D drive, so nothing to worry about. 